everyone. Are you as unimpressed with the video transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 as we are? If you take a look here, we have a few different choices, but if you're like us here at SolidBox, you want to have a whole wealth of options to choose from for video transitions. The ones provided for us in CS6 just don't cut it. So luckily, we have our friends over at FilmImpact.net who have a really nice extension pack that's going to provide us with a, a couple different options for transitions. So, I'm going to walk you through how to find these and then how to install them and then how to use them. So today we're at FilmImpact.net. Uh, you can just do a Google search for Film Impact or you can go right to the website if you'd like. And here we have the Film Impact website. So what we want to do is go to Download and on their Downloads page we can see we have Transition Pack 1 Demo. This demo contains four free and fully functional transitions plus six demos. And as you can see we have the free ones here and we have the demos on the, the bottom. And we'll get into the difference between the demos and the free ones when we pull them up. But uh, let's run through them right, right now. We have the roll, we have a flash transition, we have a blur to color transition, push, burn alpha, burn white, blur dissolve, a stretch transition, copy machine, and chaos transition. So for software requirements, we're going to need to have Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5 or higher. Um, if you're not running CS 5.5 or higher, then unfortunately these transitions won't work for you. But if your software is up to date, these might be just exactly what you've been looking for. So what we need to do is just click the Download Now link, and as we can see, our Transition Pack 1 demo downloads. So it is a ZXP file extension, and this file extension is only going to open up in our Adobe Extension Manager. That's a good thing because now we know that these plugins were designed specifically for Premiere Pro and that means we won't have any headaches installing or utilizing them. So when they finish downloading just go ahead and click on it and our extension manager shows up. So we have a license agreement here which is pretty standard. You're about to install the Transition Pack 1 extension. Please read the following carefully before you continue. You can go ahead and read this at your leisure and uh, in our description this extension contains FilmImpact.net's Transition Pack 1 for Premiere Pro and it basically just tells us exactly what we read before. It has these four free ones plus the demos. So we want to go back to License and accept that agreement and it will install. Once it finishes installing, go ahead and click OK. And now we can close our Extension Manager. We're going to need to restart Premiere Pro just so that will update. So just go ahead and close it down and restart it. And when it shows up, we will have that brand new transition pack under Video Transitions, FilmImpact.net. And there's a folder that is dedicated to those four transitions that we have plus the demos. So let's take a look at what they are. So we have our mountain bike video here that I've just been working on. It's just about 30 seconds and it has three separate clips. So we want to add video transitions at these breaks to make it look a little smoother. So let's take a look at what these actually do. Let's take a look at the free ones first. If you remember, it was Roll, Push, Flash, and Burn to Color. Adobe organizes these alphabetically, so they won't be in the same order as they were on the web page. So you're either going to have to remember the free ones or keep switching back between the web page and Premiere Pro. However, uh, I know that they are Roll, Push, Flash, and Blur to Color for free. So let's check those out first. So all we do is grab it, let's try the roll first, and just transition it right there. Uh, we get a message that says insufficient media, this transition will contain repeated frames, just click OK. Uh, I've found that not to be a problem. So let's put our time bar close to the transition, and play through it. There you go, that's what it looks like. Pretty slick transition. Uh, let's see what it looks like without. Pretty clunky. And then, here it is with. Nice. So that's the roll. Let's try the push. Impact push. Let's try it on the second clip. So this is just one push and you can see it switches between the two clips. There it is. Let's try it without. Pretty jarring. And here it is with. Not bad. So let's uh, try, keep trying them. Let's try the flash. Impact flash. Okay. 
So as you can see, the flash just kind of wipes everything out and then it transitions into the next frame. Nice. And let's try our last free one, which is blur to color. So we just drag it over to the transition, click OK. And it's the exact opposite in that it goes to the fades to black and then comes out. Still a really nice, simple transition. Now you can also uh, manipulate the length of these transitions, just like any other transition in Premiere Pro. So we just grab the edge of it and drag it to however long we want it to be. And this will be a really slow dissolve out and back. Needs to render a little bit. Let's try that again. There we go. So you can do that with all of these. Let's now take a look at what the demos are. So you can see we do have uh, a few more here. We have the Dissolve, the Blur Alpha, the Blur White, the Chaos, Copy Machine, and Stretch, which we haven't checked out. And how we know their demo is that they have a little watermark. So let's try the Blur Dissolve and show you what that looks like. Here you can see the watermark with the uh, website information. So and we see, there it is, Film Impact Demo. And we have these little hash lines that come on the top. Either way, you get an idea of what the transition is, even though you do have that little watermark. And then if you want to purchase them, you know what it looks like. So let's just keep checking them out. We have the Burn Alpha. And this one will make a little longer too. So that one, it just kind of burns the screen to black and then it comes back. Pretty cool. Let's keep trying them. We have the burn white. It's pretty much the same thing, only white this time. Let's check out Impact Chaos. This one's really cool because it gives a real modern effect. It looks like the, the video is breaking up. I think it's a really cool effect. It's the kind of transition you see in a lot of movies where someone is hacking into a network and all of a sudden some face shows up on the screen that shouldn't be there. It's pretty cool. So let's keep checking them out. Let's delete this one and try our copy machine. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. So we have a uh, an illuminated bar that moves across the screen to make it look like there's a copy machine. Not bad. And then finally, our last demo, we have the impact stretch. And... Let's stretch the stretch transition a little bit and see what it looks like. So it basically just stretches the screen and then returns it to normal. So there you have it. We can watch the video from the beginning and see what it looks like with those transitions. And I'm just going to leave that demo in there so you're going to have to deal with the watermark. But this is just to see what kind of options we have. There's the stretch. And there's the burn to white. And we can even put a, uh, a transition towards the end as well. I like that impact chaos, so let's put that right at the end. And it'll look like the video just kind of abruptly ends due to some error. Cool. So there you have it. We have our filmimpact.net webpage that gives you four free transitions and plus all these other demos that you can check out. If you would like to buy the full version, you can go to the store and that takes you to a link where you can actually buy it for only 29 bucks. Pretty good deal. So if you are discouraged by the amount of video transitions built into the CS6 and uh, Premiere Pro specifically, then I suggest you go to filmimpact.net and check out what they have to offer. Installing and using these plugins is super easy and it gives you a few more options for your video editing needs. So thanks a lot. I'm Tanner Knight with SolidBox Team Adobe.